I must tell these people the truth. Despite the fact that you are a hard worker, you have passion to serve, you are zealous, you are a go-getter, the journey ahead of you is not rosy. And I want to ask the people of Kenya, the way you prayed for President William Ruto to be elected as president, please continue praying for him and his team to be able to start the economic transformation of this great republic. Our new president and his team have a difficult task ahead. The truth of the matter is that we have inherited a dilapidated economy that is facing almost an economic shutdown. We have a 10 trillion public debt. Six million Kenyans have no employment. 14 million Kenyans are in CRB. We have a demoralized public service. It is your prayers that will help our president to put up a team and start work from day one to liberate this country economically and put it back to where President Mwai Kebaki left us 10 years ago. Your Excellency, the President, I want to tell the people of Kenya that today is a great day. Freedom is here with us. Freedom is here with us. I want to tell the people of Kenya that finally you are free. Kenya is now a democratic country. You don't have to look back when you do something. All Kenyans are free to associate whoever they want. It became a crime in this country to be afraid of William Ruto. It is only that it was not put in the pentacle. From today, I want to tell the people of Kenya that you are finally free. I want to tell public servants, I want to tell all the people of Kenya, from now, you don't have to talk with each other through the WhatsApp for fear of being recorded and persecuted by state agencies. Your Excellency, our President. Your Excellency, our President. You have told us, and we believe you, that you shall never, in your, pres in your presidency, use the criminal justice system to manage politics. You have told us that you'll manage politics the conventional way through persuasion and reaching out. I want to give a word on behalf of our president that you are free to criticize his government without fear of reprisal from state agencies. Your Excellency, Mr. President, as I wind up, as I wind up, I want to assure you of my resolve and commitment from the bottom of my heart to be available to assist you to manage the affairs of our great nation. I'll serve you with loyalty and dedication. And the job ahead of us is not a joke. I and the team behind you, we shall be available and will try to keep up with your pace. I know I am getting in shoes that are almost impossible to fail. The performance of William Ruto in his first term when he was allowed to serve the people of Kenya was on another level. Please, I beg the people of Kenya, I beg the people of Kenya not 
to measure me with the performance of William Ruto because you might get disappointed. I'll try. I may go up to 60 or 70 percent, but filling the shoes of this man is no small feat. And as we move forward, I want to ask the people of Kenya to work hard. We don't have a choice. Once we try to fix this economy and create a good working environment where we don't criminalize enterprise, where ordinary Kenyans are allowed to work, where businessmen are not harassed by KRA, where goods belonging to the people of Kenya will never again be touched by Ovazila's public servants. Where again poor people will never again be evicted in brutal evictions by state agencies. And I say freedom is here. Let every Kenyan be prepared to work hard. Let us give our new president a chance. And I beg you to be patient with him. We have come to the treasury and the coffers are empty. We have to start from scratch. We ask for people of Kenya to be patient and give us a chance to try to get things working. Finally, as a Christian, I take this opportunity to thank my wife Dorcas, Pastor Dorcas, for being a prayer warrior, for praying for me in difficult times, for standing by me. I want to thank my children, Kevin Gashagua and Dr. Keith, that even when state agencies came for me with the brutal efficiency, you never abandoned me. My family, I will ever cherish you for standing with us. And, as I, and I must tell the people of Kenya, please take care of your families. Those are the only people you can rely on. Friends abandoned us. Business associates betrayed us. But family will always be there for you. The story of William Ruto is one of inspiration. Today, millions of Kenyans are looking forward that if an ordinary child could be president, even them working hard and praying to God, one day there will be some people in this country. It is now my privilege to introduce the people of Kenya A man of great resolute, a true warrior of the Republic of Kenya, a man who is committed to public service, a man who believes that every hustle matters, a man who believes that every Kenyan must be given a chance, a man who has committed his life to the service of the people of Kenya. I want to invite the fifth president of the Republic of Kenya, the one and only William Samoe Ruto.